And Jason and I started talking that day and he was sharing some of the stuff that I was talking about that he was already doing. And I, I really appreciated that. And they basically had this program in the school. I'll, I'll let Jason talk more about that. But he, he's been just doing incredible things forever. So I met some really amazing people that day. And you're one of the ones that stuck out. So when you, when you actually messaged me that you had this book coming out, uh, and you can actually see Jason has a new book out um, with Stacey Ross Cohen. And it's called Brand Up. You can actually see in the link down below. I think it is such a, I, I said, hey, you got to come on your podcast. Once it's out, watching the podcast, I want you talking about this. So Jason, if you could just kind of introduce yourself, what you do today, how you got there. I think that is a really great place to start. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for having me, George. Uh, so this journey started back in 2013. Um, I was asked to reimagine our digital uh, communications course and our computer applications course. And the vision was kind of fuzzy. We just knew that we didn't know what we wanted to do because we didn't know what the future would look like for these children, right? And so the, the benefit of me not being an ed tech guy at that time was that I wasn't coming in with a particular bias or a particular app that I loved. Mm -hmm. I was coming in almost the same way the kids were coming in. I was a, a newbie, I was fresh. I didn't know much about um, Instagram, social media, Twitter, those kinds of things. And so I was willing to learn from the ground. And so what that meant was, I'm going to study everything I can about personal branding, everything mm -hmm. I can about marketing. And that led me in some amazing places. And then I would find ways to sort of connect that to teaching computer literacy and digital citizenship. At the beginning, it was a lot of common sense media, what not to do. Mm -hmm. And then as I grew and felt more comfortable, it went from this father like, here's what you don't do, right. to this big brother like, hey, here's what you can do so that you can still have fun and still do all the things you love, but it won't destroy your reputation. It'll help it. Um, so that was 2013. I think we met 2017. Yeah. And then 2019 uh, is when I decided to come up here to Orlando. And today I'm doing entrepreneurship stuff, but mm -hmm. I kept the relationship with uh, my friend Stacy, who uh, was a Huffington Post author, and mm -hmm. we collaborated on this book together. And it's got a great mix of her experience on Madison Avenue and my experience in the classroom. And there's tangible, actual things that uh, students and young adults can really benefit from. Well, it's actually interesting because the the book talks about ways that you can, and I, I really believe in that. We are so focused on don't do this. And I'll, I'm gonna give everyone a little, little mind game here, right? We focus on telling kids to don't do stuff so much in schools. I remember I was speaking to a group of edu or students and they introduced me and the, the guy didn't know who I was, by the way. It was like kind of weird. Cause I'm like, why would you bring me in to speak? But they just saw, Hey, we got to talk about social media with our students. So they said, Hey, here's this guy from Canada. He's going to talk about social media with you today. So it was all high school students. The second they, he said that they all started groaning. Cause they thought you were going to sell the bad stuff. Cause all they thought I was going to do for the next hour is like, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. And all I said to them was, Hey, do y'all know what cyberbullying is? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, don't do that. Anyways, here are the things you can do. Here are some of the students right now doing some incredible things. And many of them came up to me and said, no adult has ever talked to us like this, that they ever said, here's the things you can do. And here's a little thought experiment, right? A lot of times when we say don't, you actually put ideas in the heads that are negative. So here's the experiment. Jason, let's see if the, how this works with you. So don't think of an elephant. <laughs> like elephants. what's the first thing you think of? The elephant. Right. Yeah. right. And, that, and that's, you know, I remember someone saying that to me. I was like, ah, that's kind of weird. And, and really, if people are going to search you to make sure you're not doing something bad, what happens when they find that you're doing really great stuff? It's just going to be to your right. advantage, right? So my first week of school at my new school here, we brought in like a, FBI agent and he was going to give the social media talk right. no, and it was don't do this don't do this here's right. a kid who got uh, stolen right. from a park I walked into my principal's office and I said I know we just met you just hired me this is my thing and if that's the only message we're going to give our kids right. I don't know if I found the right place hmm. and she said Jason what do you, what's your thing and I explained to her where I come from and my approach 
she said, I'm going to give you opportunity to speak to the parents in a couple of weeks. We set up a coffee talk. I had about, you know, 40 or 50 of the parents who decided to show up. And I said, hey, listen, your kids heard this message. I want you to know that there's an alternative message. Both are about your child's safety. But one is realizing that your kids are not giving up their accounts because that guy told them to. Right. Um, if anything, they're going to see what they can get away with. Um, if you teach your kids to love themselves and you mm-hmm. show them good etiquette, they're going to copy what they see and what's in the best interests of themselves. That doesn't mean they're not going to make a mistake now. And right. then. Um, but if we raise good people, good humans, we're going to get good results. If you give them these tools and you never show them what to do with them other than telling them what not to do, then you're leaving them open to guessing. Right. And it's not fair. It's not fair to them. Yeah. And that, that like the reality of it is everyone makes mistakes. And I think that building social capital and actually doing positive stuff, when you do make a mistake, people are like, okay, is that really, is that really who this person is? And I think that's something that's really important.